The Pyramid of Menkura, the smallest, yet by no means least interesting of the great pyramids of Giza, claimed to have been built by the Egyptian pharaoh Menkura some 4,000 years ago. The pyramid's origins, however, like the many other giant and perfectly carved structures and statues found throughout the Giza Plateau, no one seems to be able to explain how or why such figures within known, well-studied history accomplished such feats. With the entrance to the Chapel of the Cult, exposing just how much of a challenge this construction would have been for our copper-welding ancestors some 4,000 years ago. Lined with megalithic sandstone blocks, with some well over 100 tons in weight, the remains of basalt casting stones strewn around their feet, either disturbed by invading parties or simply fallen from where they once stood, in front of the megalithic blocks, all now exposed to the elements, with additional styles from other, now lost civilizations littered all around the pyramid indicative of its rediscovered importance by other now lost civilizations, who we feel clearly came and went since the pyramid's original constructions. This extraordinary section of the ruins are predictably rarely discussed or studied. We believe this due to the inexplicable nature of the surrounding ruins, in addition to further supporting claims that the casting stones found upon the pyramids are not only covering megalithic blocks of an even larger scale, but were a later addition, just like that of the unfinished polygonal masonry, making up additional casing stones around the entrance of the Menkura pyramid itself. Furthermore, Menkura also contains inner chambers, just like that of the world-famous Cheops. Yet rumors that only Cheops possess such tunnels persist to the modern day, and one wonders why. Why was Menkura clearly focused on by several different conservation efforts? Why is it the only pyramid with Peru-style polygonal casing stones? Who could have possibly built the entrance tunnel, or indeed the pyramids themselves? And why is the pyramid largely, and it would seem purposefully, overlooked? We find the possible motivations highly compelling. Simir Osmanagic, a Bosnian-American businessman now based in Houston, Texas, has long claimed that a particular and uncannily angled hill, long presumed as a natural formation, is actually the largest human-made ancient pyramid on Earth. The claims have predictably been met with hostility by those in the academic world who protect modern paradigm. His work has also been heavily criticized, not only as a hoax, but damaging to the other areas of Bosnia which are authentic and mainstream accepted ruins. However, regardless of these hostilities, Samir has continued his research and promotion of the area as a tourist attraction. Furthermore, what he has since discovered from numerous excavations is curious, clearly artificial, and massive ancient activities now hidden beneath several meters of strata. Not only have these discoveries of ancient masonry corroborated his ancient claim, but there is also evidence to suggest that incredible efforts were made to divert and control the flow of local water systems, channeling them into and beneath the structure. Regardless of these discoveries, mainstream sources continue to dismiss his claims, and indeed further supporting discoveries, continuing to retain a position of complete denial claiming that, quote, there is no evidence that they were shaped by human construction. The European Association of Archaeologists has condemned the so-called Bosnian pyramids as a cruel hoax, along with various other scholars, end quote. There are others, however, who have looked into the research and indeed Samir's efforts in depth, and from this have come to realize that there is much about this curious hill still to be unraveled, and regardless of the skeptics' unrelenting hostility to said claims, they have discovered something rather extraordinary. According to radiocarbon dating, done on an artificially constructed tunnel which penetrates the pyramidal feature, if accepted by mainstream academics, they would also have to be dated at over 32,000 years old. 
Could this be the reason for such hostilities in regard to fully exploring the site? The tunnels found in Ravni Park II have been carbon dated by the Archaeological Park Bosnian Pyramid of the Sun Foundation. We have ourselves in the past explored the casing stones upon the Great Pyramids of Giza. These stones, clearly of a much younger age than the stone in which they are now preserving, severe erosion upon these earlier stones, we feel, may also be indicative of a similar age to that found at the Bosnian site. Samir commented on the latest find by stating, quote, According to the results of the examination of stalagmites found in the new tunnels, we discovered an antiquity of 26,200 years old. It means that these entrances and tunnels, which until now have remained hidden from the public, go deep into the past of the region. He continued, when we add the time needed to prepare the base for the creation of stalagmites and corrections for calibrated age to the radiocarbon age, we arrive at about 32,000 years. This is exactly the age of the Bosnian Pyramid of the Sun and the underground tunnels of Ravni, and they are all part of the same culture," concluded Osmanagic, speaking to Denevni Avaz. These discoveries, along with Samir's earlier work, Regardless of the skepticism which predictably surrounds the site, we find highly compelling. When people visit the southeastern Anatolian province of Mardin, this gem of lost antiquity quietly sits, often overlooked, and when one begins to investigate said site, they are often left with more questions than answers. For why does such an astonishing ruin go largely unnoticed? Why is it not more largely discussed within archaeological circles? Could it be due to the fact, as one with any level of knowledge regarding lost civilizations and the proof therein latches eyes upon the site, they instantly recognize its characteristics synonymous with these studies, matching other, yet rather interestingly, accidentally revealed ruins from around the world? The style of, and the decision to bore the dwellings from solid stone, reminiscent of many unexplained ruins, such as the underground city of Derinkuyu, a particularly interesting site when indeed discovered entirely by accident, one which to this day remains heavily debated and to some highly controversial. This site, known as Dara, is exhibiting geological processes which are now, unfortunately, beginning to erode it back into the landscape. The construction technique, however, still testament to its original builder's abilities and indeed its possible age. Yet this does not answer the question as to why this ruin goes largely untalked of, largely unstudied and overlooked. For parallel to the erosion argument exhibiting its true age, it can also be used as an advocate for its official dating within the Byzantine era. The lack of surviving ruins will often be used as a way to dismiss such claims of antiquity due to a lack of evidence. Thus, we wanted to dig a little deeper to see if, via visual evidence, we could confirm that there is indeed reason to suspect that the site could possibly generate controversy for those who originally dated the site. This to confirm our initial suspicions. Still, surviving tool marks present upon the stones match that of other controversially dated sites. How can a ruin apparently dating from the Bronze Age exhibit such long cut marks or finishes across the stone? Like that of the ancient pyramids, how could copper tools have accomplished such feats within Dara, Giza, and the other sites around the world? It is a question which we find highly compelling.